Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's the most important, bottom line, critical thing happening on this planet. Today on This Is Important? We're out our motherfucking tunnel that we've been working on for a couple weeks. You cannot watch a porno now without like, without wanting to fuck your mother. He's well proportioned, he's got a little meat on him, but he's not, oh, he's not too big. No, they're just going to be putting a straw in your butt and slurping the potatoes out. Buckle up. Can I say that, uh, Durs, you look really good with that new light. Oh yeah, I'm lit, as yeah. Uh, yeah. the youngsters say they used to say that they, i don't think they say that anymore yeah why do they say liddy i don't think liddy sounds as good or like proper as lit liddy wait liddy like i think liddy's kind of tight yeah i'm into liddy i'm a liddy guy well you're just adding a titty Ugh. to the lit Ugh, lit no. t it's bad liddy that's like when somebody says like truey <laughs> yeah lit titty titty litty I, yeah, yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> Which I also love. Truly. Yeah, I happen to dig that. I actually I don't know if that was like a universal thing or if that was just like our younger brothers saying that. Truly. Yeah, it was definitely not. What, Liddy or Truly? Truly? Truly. Truly. Universal. No, Truly. Yeah, that's universal. The wor worldwide people yeah. say Truly. Are you serious? Who have you heard said truey? I say truey all the time. Everything's truey. It was Ben. Yeah, because it was Ben. It was Ben Bong. Yeah, no. Ben Bong. Let's say truey. Ben Bong said it one time when we were in the hot tub and it was like, yo, make sure you put some like some some limes in those coronas when you bring them out. And he was like, Truey. And we yeah. were like, hell yeah. And you were like, oh, that's cool. And he goes, yeah, it's from MTV. Yeah. Oh uh, God, T R L. No way, man. You Produce evidence. I need you to produce evidence about no, that. I think the I think the situation. I think Mike the situation probably said it first. If anybody can produce evidence on this, I would be very interested because I think it. Well, the fact is, is Ben was your brother's younger brother's friend, and how much younger is Adam? What three years younger than us? Two, two years. Two years. Two years younger. So, yeah. a younger Jen. We're over mm -hmm. here with, with our old ass slangs. Oh hell yeah, we are cowabunga. You know, and he he came he came with that. Yeah, we're over here saying cowabunga, dude. <laughs> Can you dig it? <laughs> yeah, Rock and Jack. roll, man. Come on, Jack. <laughs> oh. oh, I love Jack. I think that's my favorite. Just slang. I guess it's a slang word, but just ending a sentence with Jack or yeah. Joe. Strong. Joe. I What's think up, I, Joe? doesn't Jack's Joe Biden uh, say Jack a lot? He does. He yeah. he says a lot of old school shit. Come on, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, a lot of come on, man. That's a come bunch on. of malarkey, man. Come on. <laughs> Malarkey's tight. I'm into malarkey. <laughs> Malarkey's strong. Sorry, I'm just pop, just popping a little, a little of my pod sauce over here. Ooh, getting litty. What's the pod sauce? Yeah. What do you got? Well, no, nothing other than Ashland hard seltzer brewed Ooh, in San baby. Diego, baby. Ooh, baby. Nice. It's so Sorry. good. Leaning it's so your, delicious over ice. Leaning into those product placements. Thank you, Blakey. Speaking of hard seltzers, uh, I went to the store the other day, the liquor mm -hmm. store. Nice. And bought, uh, I think, 11 or 9 cases of different hard seltzers. And uh, I'm having a taste test this mm. weekend and into this week. Did you get Ashland? Is Ash was Ashland on the... I looked. They didn't have it. Uh, mm. Well, you're missing out. The only yeah. thing... Also didn't... I'm sorry. Talk to your boys. Holler at your boys. Yeah, the only thing hard about Ashland Hard Seltzer is it's hard to find in the stores. Damn, oh, son. Oh. Hit the sound Burr. board, laser. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Baby. Dude, listen, oh, to the, listen, to this, listen to this sizzle. There's so many, though. It's crazy. Ooh. And I didn't get White Claw because I've had that, so I think I'm going to find the reigning champ and then compare it to White Claw. Well, you're not. We got to give you some, we got to hook you up with some Ashland. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll talk to our guy and, and yeah, get you some that'd Ashland. That'd be great. It yeah. is, because I did that too when we got, when, uh, when we invested into mm -hmm. Ashland, I did the same thing and I went and got all of them and I want to say, I just wanted to say like, I didn't want to come too out of pocket if Ashland was like the eighth best and I'm going, right. well, yeah. no, it's number one. And uh, it, 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 for me, for my money, mm -hmm. it is the best. 
I agree. Ashland. I agree. Ashland Hard Seltzer. For your money, had, then you, hey, I'm not a hot. You've had Bon Vive. You've had Nude. I have nude. had Bon Vive. Truly. You've had Nude. Truly. Nude? Nude. I've had nude in Canada. I I They're big in nude. Canada. Nude goes down some mood. I find that it gives you... Diarrhea. But that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> it might be you. What was that shit, like that old ass commercial back in the day where it was like, I'm not only a client, I'm the president. Rogan. 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 Yes, it was. Hair, hair club for men, oh, by the yes. way. Is that cool? Do they just? It's just for men? Well, I think it also makes your mustache grow. Oh, it's a, it's a full-blown testosterone. I'm surprised none of us, uh, none of us mm. went bald. That's kind of a surprising thing for for a group of group of guys. Kyle's on his way. That's well, why I'm Ky growing my hair out now. I'm growing my hair long because I'm pretty sure it's on its way out. So oh, I'm just Kyle, like trying to reach really, the end of it. <laughs> but that's always kind of a, a bad look. Wouldn't you want to go short so you can't tell as much? No. When you go it. long, that's when it's. No, I mean I'm holding on to it. I'm holding yeah. on. This is like the last time I'm going to be able to do the long hair. So I'm like fucking going for it. You know oh, what okay. I mean? Sure, I'm aware of that. Yeah. I'm let let it keep receding and keep it long and go gray like the Crypt Keeper style. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. hella stringy in the back. Mm -hmm. Dude, I love mm -hmm. that. Because then I'll, I'll, I'll rock with you. Yeah, I go. think that'd be a good look. That's cool. And that's that's when you got to start directing those those porno movies. Because you'd have, mm -hmm. the, you'd have that hair to go with it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking big career switch coming up as soon as the hair changes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Are you ready to pop? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your uh, I'd, be, I'd be the Very star good. of of your first porno movie, Kyle. I'd be the star of that. You would if I came to the table and was like, "You think you think you'd be the star?" You'd hope. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I came to the table with some financing and was like, "Dude, I'm like, I'm gonna make a career switch. I need you because your name is gonna help pop it." Like, you'd be there. No pun intended. Something, something's gonna pop. Pop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, I think uh, I wouldn't <laughs> get, get the sound bite. I wouldn't Damn. want. Uh, I would like to do all the like right before he pulls his dick out, and then a, yeah. a, a very funny stunt dick. Oh yeah, That'd so be you want to fuck, but not like show your dick coming. It's for sure me. No, the, I'm not even Ew. fucking. I'm not even <laughs> sorry. Fucking. Right, it's the build I up. Be, like, I'm doing right. all the acting. And then, and then when it comes to the fucking, uh, Durs can use his or somebody else. That's where we'll put in my buddy. No, no. I, I want to be the dad. The dad who's like, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go take my car to the car wash. You're going to do your homework, sweetie. And then like some fucking giant dick dude just crawls into the window to study. Damn. So that would be Adam, right? And then I get, and then I get back and I go, honey, what are you doing? And she's like, you can watch. And then I just sit there. <laughs> Por porno's gotten so weird. Oh, the scenarios. Why are bizarre. they doing it? Don't even have scenarios. We don't need them anymore. It's so crazy that like it, you cannot watch a porno now without like it, without wanting to fuck your mother. Without like <laughs> without okay. being told, told no, that that's well, what yeah. we, what you want. <laughs> yeah, Penny. I, mean, I don't want to fuck you. Did I did I tell you guys the? I know what you mean because you can go I, to. Oh my god! <laughs> you go to Pornhub and you see the ones that are hottest in in America, and you're like, "Oh yeah, we're so fucked." We're yeah, so it's like fucked. mom gets stuck under a table, and you're like, right. <laughs> exactly. Right. It's like already we are fucked. hot. So much of that shit. I mean, is that because nothing's taboo? Like it, it used to be like two chicks, and then now it's like okay, but like it has to be related now. And then now it's like um, twenty five of your uh, sisters. <laughs> All, yeah. all yours, all your sisters. Thanksgiving gets fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh, did I ever, did I tell you guys the story of when my mom caught me watching porno uh, when I was in high school? I'm, I, and stop me if I told this on the pod before, because, you know, I'm, I'm, we've, we've done how many of these now? <laughs> Seven? I'm yeah. losing track. We're starting to double up. Uh, yeah, if yeah. it involves a toe and cum in the bathwater, we've heard it. Yeah. No, I, but uh, you know what we should do is we should get my mom on the phone uh, and ask her if she remembers this story. Uh, All right. That's, sure. that story. Yeah. Because I've gotten some people that are saying that I'm out of pocket and that I'm, I made that story up. But my mom, for sure, I don't know if she knows that there was jizz in the bathwater, but she mm -hmm. for sure remembers my toe falling off. So mm -hmm. we got we got to get her on record. 
But when my for when sure, I said, dude, we <laughs> absolutely that this yeah, is absolutely important. have to. That is important. I definitely want to talk with her about that yeah. and say, Penny Divine was there? Come in the bathwater. Do you remember if there was cum in there? I don't think she knows that there's cum. She doesn't. You're on live. <laughs> then I don't want to ask her that, bro. I don't want to do that. I don't even want to be in the room when that conversation is being had. Oh, my mom would be totally fine. My mom would be like, no, oh, I don't care if there's jizz. Oh, jizz. <laughs> Does she say jizz? <laughs> yeah, probably. Is that you don't her? Think she says like semen? Yeah, semen. Is it like, or like, uh, is she might say she's watched work all. She's a big fan. She probably says e jack. Or maybe there's like a funny, <laughs> like a cute word for it. Like, like. Like frosting, like baby, baby sauce. <laughs> frosting is not cute, dude. Frosting just, is like, that's yeah. what if you hear a girl say frosting, you run it's way too advanced, too much experience. That's when you mama marry her. <laughs> that gives a whole new meaning to frosted tips. Lock her down. Give me your frosting. So when I was uh, <laughs> in high school, I was watching porn. I was at home, senior year of high school. Nice. I like, I had a like the. Lucky? like the last period of the day off and I was home from school early. What is it, VCR or internet? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna ask the same thing. What's the format? No, I was, it was the, it was a, on my computer, but it was like the, my parents had the shittiest computer. We were late to the game. We bought like a used computer. So at that time it was just like, it literally like shook. It must have been on like a real player or something. Remember that shit? Like on discs or yeah, what is this Morpheus? No, no, it was it was right. it was uh, like what a Sublime Directory. S oh, deep cut, Hello. deep Hello. cut. Wow! Shout out Sublime Directory. Yeah, it was Sublime. actually streaming internet porno. Damn, son, where'd you find this <laughs> on the internet? Wait, Blake. Will you explain what Sublime Directory is to those? Sublime Directory is I can't even believe I I I pulled that from the deep wrinkly parts of the back brain because. Uh, Th that was like the first porno website that I can remember that had like just links and links and links and links of different stuff. And they broke it down into categories, much like they do now with amateur, big yeah. boobs, interracial, whatever. And uh, so that I was, I was cruise, I was riding. No, keep going. But no thumbnails. <laughs> No thumbnails. Just a big picture of a dinosaur up in the corner. Yeah, and then just like <laughs> it, it like had a little description, so you had to read and go, okay, I might be into that. Right. And so, anyways, I was. It was one of those. Oh, sorry, I just am going down the hole too, man. I'm like, <laughs> there were so many pop ups. You know, you remember yes. how there used to be pop ups all the time? So you'd yeah, pornado, pornado. <laughs> you'd click on a link and you think like, okay, this is this is what's going to pop up and then five other pop-ups mm -hmm. would pop up and you'd have to yeah. click out of those to see what you actually want to see which so you would get really good at which was the saddest part yeah, you'd like, like, <laughs> we're good. and so my i hear the garage coming up and i just clicked on something and all these pop-ups and i'm trying to click out of it i'm trying to click out of it and my pants are down around my ankles and so i'm like hopping through the the basement and i pull up my pants but i don't get them buckled and i dive on the couch and i cover my my crotch with a big pillow and, mm -hmm. and meanwhile, the computer's still up, but it's in the corner. And meanwhile, it's just shaking. It's just like, <laughs> and my mom comes in. She's like, how's school? And I'm like, fine, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, <laughs> 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 and, and I was like, it was, it, was it was fine. Get out of here. You know, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. And, uh, and she's like, oh, this computer's making so much noise. And I'm like, don't worry about it. I'll take care of the computer. <laughs> meanwhile, she asked me what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm just watching TV. The TV's not on, you know, and I'm just <laughs> sitting down there. And she's like, something's up. She goes over the the computer, and my mom's a very open-minded woman, and she looks <laughs> at the, I figured, like, if she saw the the porn, oh, yeah. I'm a senior in high school, I'm 17, I so it's not this. that big of a deal, and she <laughs> turns and looks at me and goes, Jesus Christ, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't want you to see that, and she goes, what if Brittany saw this? Brittany's my little sister, who's three years younger than me. She's also in high school. She's a freshman in high school. She probably also looks at porno. And I go, I don't, <laughs> well, I don't know. I, she probably looks at that kind of stuff too. And then Constantly. she goes, yeah, and then she goes, you disgust me. And marches upstairs. And I'm like, that is pretty aggressive. Penny doesn't usually come at me that hard. You, right. She's usually pretty open-minded about these kind of things. And so I, waddle back over to the computer because my pants are down around my <laughs> are, are not fully still hard fully still, hard. still rock hard from all that sublime <laughs> sublime directoring and 
I look at the pop up that had popped up, and it was hot brother on sister incest action. Oh boy! <laughs> and I had to oh run boy. upstairs and oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> and I had to go upstairs and explain to my mom that that uh, I want to fuck my sister. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. No, that, uh, that that was a pop-up. and Pop-ups. She, and I explained yes. what pop-ups were, and she was like, oh, you just saw her melt. She was like, oh, my God, thank I you. Know. Oh, thank God. I knew you couldn't have, have actually been looking at stuff like right. that. Meanwhile, wow, you're man. watching, like, fucking milk gagging and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bukaki videos. <laughs> Weird. Thank God. Yeah. Dude, the Sublime Director used to give you so many viruses. Like, oh, yeah. The yeah. most insane amount. I remember my dad came down. I was like, let me fix. I like how you said viruses. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> let me come. My dad was really good at computers. And he like was, could, yeah. could clean it off. You knew how to use Norton antivirus and all that stuff. And he oh, would yeah. come down and like when we visited in L.A. and like, let me see your computer. You got a problem with it? All right, cool. He's like, and then he'd run the scanner and he's like, you have 38,000 viruses on your computer right uh -huh, now. That checks uh, out. Yeah. yeah, back in the day, it was like, I mean, which I have a question. Do viruses even exist on computers now? Or did the like flash just kind of just get rid of they that? Yeah, they exist. They for sure still exist. I, I mean, I mean, it was more of a problem with like PCs, right? And then like somehow like Max kind of took it. McAfee, to the next level. dude, that guy is the crazy ass dude. McAfee was like, I can take care of your computers if you let me be dirty in real life. <laughs> Where does he live now? Where does McAfee live? He like has his own army it's and all that. Mexico, Costa Rica, or something. Yeah, it's like in there's a a restaurant in the Bahamas that I went to on some island when I was doing uh, Bad Ideas, and it, it was McAfee's restaurant, and he owned it, and there was like a plaque outside mm -mm. saying it was his place. And yeah, it's called like Satan's Tongue. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> island of Dr. Moreau. So give some backstory on, on this dude. So he created the antivirus, McAfee yeah, antivirus. Right. And then like, and then, and then what? He just like spun out of control and became a fucking lunatic? He made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't think he was a billionaire, but like pff, nonstop yeah. cash, right? Yeah. yeah. And then yes. he just allegedly started, allegedly <laughs> made money. And then for real, uh, yeah, I don't know the exact details, but then he went down south and just started wiling out. I think he ran, I think he ran for, I think he ran for president first. Oh yeah, I think oh, he ran for president and like made a decent run at it, but then after that decided to go down to Costa Rica or whatever, where it was like more of a lawless land, and kind of hired everyone to be his. He he basically yeah. outfitted his own army down there and started extorting all the businesses and basically running, running it. And had like young girls on the compound and the fucking mm -hmm. he was just chasing the the ripping and the tearing and he got a little out of control right yeah. i think he got i think he got caught though i think he got busted or uh what do they call it x x what do they call it when they boot you out of the is that what it is extradited Ex extradited extradited that seems about right allegedly i think they got him boys yeah that wasn't the dude who like ended up like murdering somebody, right? Like his neighbor or something. He killed some dogs. Yeah, I think there's a Netflix doc that's pretty trill about. I him. mean, fingers crossed. I feel like he killed the dogs of somebody who was like trying to stand up against him. There's a documentary on him. It was his neighbors, yeah. Yeah, there's a doc, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's a trip, cool. man. He's got a sick body, though. I mean, the dude's cut. Is he? True that. Truey. I will say I will say that the dude's got the usher muscles. Ooh, the cum gutters. He's seventy five years old. Uh, he's seventy five years old, and he's he's doing okay for seventy five. There we go. What does that mean? Please explain. Oh, his physical appearance. Yeah, I mean, I think his face is falling off of his skull, but the rest is taut. <laughs> <laughs> How's your appearance? Appearance? Your physical appearance? <laughs> yeah, his physical appearance looks pretty great. <laughs> How's his appearance? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he looks like he's not like fully falling apart. I feel when I'm 75, I'm going to be a, a dump truck of a man, a human gar walking garbage can. I'm not going to... Right. <laughs> Super saggy. I won't have usher muscles. My, um, my skin is going to be just 
mad droopy. Falling off mm-hmm. the bone like a Tony <laughs> Roma rib. I always say I'm going to be, I'm going to look like a human St. Bernard. It's like my, my skin is, our, my face especially is, yeah. is, is so gummy that I feel, I know for a fact <laughs> right. that, that when it gets old, this, all this like. That bubblicious. All this human Play-Doh face is just going to be like melted candle wax. <laughs> Yeah, it's droopy. You've been getting extra extra sun exposure too, which is just terrible for the skin. It's I just, have. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting like the spots. God damn, life yeah, it comes at you fast, man. We're gonna die. My my body's been very droopy since about age 25. I think is when it started really drooping. That's all the funyuns. Here's a question. Who? Here- <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of chips. Yeah, you're you're eating too many chips. I think that's your your issue. <laughs> his, his I'm not weakness. I'm not pointing a finger at anything. I'm just saying it's been drooping since 25, baby. I want to circle back to Funyuns, okay. but <laughs> who who out of us is gonna die first? Wow, that's a tough one. And I don't, um, you know, if you want to add in, if you want to sprinkle in that you think you know how it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> elaborate but who's gonna die first holy shit dude this is not fun for me i'm uh, like i don't want to fine who's gonna well, win who's gonna live the it? longest i'm gonna probably <laughs> I, I bet durs is going to live the longest because okay. he drinks the least amount he never okay. smoked he mm-hmm. doesn't really smoke weed that often Wait, I don't drink at all anymore. Just so you know. Yeah, but you, but you had. Uh, uh, I don't do. I don't drink at all. But mm-hmm. you smoked for ever. Water? You don't water? Yeah, but I smoked. For, yes, correct. But I just uh-huh. wanted to say he he drinks the least. But I don't. I don't drink at all. I drink the most milkshakes. I think if my heart will say stop it and just quit it, if that's. But are, are we saying who? Okay. Who's I was just die? correcting that one piece of. Uh, this is just. This is just mine. This is just my my idea. Go for it. Okay, so I believe Durs is going to last the longest. Mm-hmm. Then Blake. Blake okay. runs every day. He's a physical specimen. Thanks. Uh, then Kyle, and then I'm going to die uh, in a helicopter crash uh, in the next 15 years. Once okay. I learn how to drive a helicopter. Oh, you oh, will be wow. piloting. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be piloting. I'm gonna. It's gonna be something silly and stupid. Uh, I'm still and, gonna send it, <laughs> uh, but I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. Uh, that's yeah, that's my. Know. That's what I think. And this maybe my heart will go. Maybe because I do chug Zequil every night, and I yeah, do drink a, a carafe of coffee every morning. So yeah, I'm and a little... well into the afternoon. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely, I kind of agree with you on you going out first. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. I, I definitely am there with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would also agree. I, w- I would count on Adam going out first. Yeah, but Let's, you got to say why. Just saying I'm going to die first. Like, why am I going to do something? Yeah. No, Durst said we could just sprinkle it. But well, I think it's going to be somewhere. <laughs> I think we're all going to live a little bit later. True. I don't think anybody's going out anytime soon. I feel like we have decades to spend with each other but then maybe you know I'm... maybe when we get start getting up to around 75 around there we're gonna start yeah. dropping. oh that's a good well yeah, yeah that's how human beings all do that though i'm going to 100 i'm going to 100 yeah i don't know i think around 90 well i think yeah around 90 95 we're gonna start feeling old <laughs> um i'm going to 100 i'm going to 100 adam just reminded me of his of his nightly routine and i think that that's that's a ticking time bomb the uh the like caffeine and then like the the nyquil whatever the fuck it is i think that's not good for your body the upper downer but yeah. he's a strong boy and i think that thank he'll you. be able to withstand that for another 35 years at least well the, you I, know? Thank you. I don't doubt that Does i the, think he's he's got that tom cruise vigor um yeah but hey mm-hmm. man i th- also think tom cruise died 20 years ago and we've been dealing with a robot Oh, well, you got oh, a, cl- dude. A, hey, oh. a clone conspiracy? Oh, I hope I come back as a Tom Cruise robot. Right? Yeah, it's like, um, what's the I'm With You singer, Avril Lavigne? It's the same thing. Oh, you think Avril Lavigne is a robot or a clone? No, but I think that's out there. And I think uh, if anyone's a robot, it's definitely not her. It's Tommy Cruise. So are these people robots? 
they have like an imposter. Like there's a, they're like, right. that's not the same girl. There's a new girl and she died somehow or whatever. Yeah. Or, like Tom uh, Hanks, I think is one. They said that about G- Gucci Mane. He was one. He like went to prison and then came out all nice and skinny. And they're like, oh, he's a, he's a clone. He does. Good for Gucci. He looks great. I, if I could have anybody's body, I want Gucci, Gucci Mane's body. He's, he's well proportioned. He's got a little meat on him, but he's not, over, he's not too big. Uh, beautiful the, tattoos. The bounce back for Gucci Man was that, that that's the best come up uh, yeah. of of all because he was a real just doughy yeah sack of potatoes. No, he was like his belly was looked like it was gonna burst. I remember I saw him like perform before mm-hmm. he went in and you know to prison, but I think he was drinking so much lean that really like makes your gut just. I mean, that's a lot of sugar and shit in there too. Yeah. What is the contents of lean? It's codeine and what? What else? Fruit punch or something? Sounds good. Sprite. Uh, you like me- mix it with Fanta? It, you do it mm-hmm. however you want, really. Like it's Fago? Just... It's like freaking Fago and codeine. Yeah. 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 I guess you could do a Fago if you were a a, a codeine juggalo. Damn. Yeah. That's a combo. Look at this dude trying to get some Fago sent his way. Yeah. I'm sure. On. I'm sure whoop, people whoop. have done it. Fago is. Hit him with some moon mist. Boom. <laughs> I can't believe Kyle never became a full on juggalo. It is weird. Y- y- yeah. You You're... have all the makings. Yeah. Well, I mean, you really can't believe that? I mean, I. Bro. <laughs> Well, if Kyle grew up, if he I, didn't yeah. grow up in the Bay Area and he grew up in outside of Detroit, right? Yes, there's but a I, 100% chance that Kyle would have had the Hatchet Man tattoo somewhere yes. on his body. And yeah, I, but here's where I don't think I could really get on board. I don't even like Halloween. I don't like painting my face. I don't like putting on makeup. It's not about Halloween. But yeah, come on. Yeah, but but it's not about Halloween, Kyle. It's a lifestyle. I just don't... It, it's about family, yeah. okay? Are there, are there jugglers that don't... Are there, <laughs> yeah, of course. I understand the family element. I understand the cultish element. Those are all things that point towards your boy. But like... <laughs> <laughs> Family. But cool. the whole like the whole painting of the face and that much preparation to go out and hang out with your family never got me. I you didn't even ha- like dressing but, up for fucking church, yeah. man. You don't have to wear face paint. Like you remember? Do you remember there were like two dudes at our high school, Kyle? We went to the same high school and uh, we did conquered. Yes, allegedly Clayton Valley. Let's go allegedly. But there were like those two dudes who would always rock like ICP like hockey jerseys, and I wa- I always thought you could make a cool third to their duo i feel like there was a time when i didn't really even know about icp but i did hear the music and i was like yeah this is this is this is great oh that's the first thing i heard great malenko <laughs> great malenko <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, you are the shaggy two dope of our of our crew for sure horror yeah there's something really cool about horror core i'm not gonna just like fucking okay here we go yeah. Well, I mean, why not? It's like, just like, I feel like as an artist, it's like a fantastic expression of just like the darkest to like depths of your oh, mind and your soul. So dark. And you yeah, gotta yeah. get it out. Oh, you know, man. like a fucking chop them up and bury them. <laughs> it's well, like, why don't you cry about it? The dark carnival of the soul is the darkest of them all. It kind yeah. of is, man. And I think I'm, I'm all about art that gives an outlet for that. Cotton candy machines. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter rides. Oh, yeah. Spooky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scary Damn. mazes. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh, Old man. professional wrestlers. Oh, that was the coolest shit about ICP is they did wrestle. If you, if, if for the listeners, if you don't know ICP to go down a rabbit hole, Uh hole, look at the, uh, dark carnival of the souls, which is a huge carnival that they have once a year. I'm, I'm pretty sure they still do it. When we first started writing workaholic season one, for whatever reason, it was real zeitgeisty and we were hearing all about it. And we were fascinated. We were Mm -hmm. truly fascinated by the insane clown possum. And we actually wrote one of the what the fifth episode of that first season yeah. was we we went to a dark carnival of the souls and saint clown posse uh show yeah i think yeah. i have a photo that i'll share online when the that episode drops very uh, nice no spoilers and we that's when the 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 world met rebel wilson 
That's right. right. That was her first American appearance. Yeah, I think so. I think she had already shot Bridesmaids, but it wasn't out yet, I believe. Right. And she had a really small part in, like, Ghost Rider or something. Oh, yeah? Like Which they're cameo. bringing back, baby. Are they? Mm-hmm. They're trying Ghost Rider again? I think they're bringing it back, and it's going to be a woman, is what I was reading, allegedly. Oh. Uh, the, the, like, allegedly. a movie or a show? Like, I think she's going to be in the mix uh, of the Marvel Universe. I don't even, like, I don't even think Ghost Rider has been a female in the comic books. That's not ringing a bell. Wake up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I mean, I'm down. I'm, I, I love it when they flip genders of superheroes. I think it's fucking cool. I want to be Wonder Woman. What else have they done that? What would you say? <laughs> I want to be Wonder Woman. I call Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Man. Wonder Boy. Yes. Yeah. Great. No, I'll spot. just I you it'll I'll still be Wonder Woman, and the whole time I'm like, don't assume my gender. There don't assume go. it. That's cool. That's great. You don't know what I am. I'm not letting you know. That's why they call you Wonder Woman because they're like, I wonder if he's really a woman. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> I kind of. You'd be called. You'd be called Wonder They. Huh. Ooh. Makes makes wonder you wonder them. Wonder them. That is actually a really great idea. Wonder them. What is play? <laughs> Wonder them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why not? You know. <laughs> huh. Huh. Why the Let's heck let not? that one sit there for. Uh... What else? What other superheroes have they gender swapped? Gender. Uh. Well, I mean, they. Thor, I believe they gave a, a run with. But was she called Thor? I think Thor. I mean, oh, Wolverine she... had like a daughter, X twenty three, and she was right. freaking sick as fuck. Um, but like, as far as swapping. I don't know. Right. Like, I was mean, there... they had versions. They had male, female sure, versions, sure. like Hulk and She-Hulk. But, like, right. have they done, like, the full-blown, this doesn't exist in comics? Yeah. I feel like on Sublime Directory, they had a whole She-Hulk. <laughs> uh, dude. dude. I yeah. love She-Hulk. I think they're dropping whole that, too. I can't wait. Uh, link that you, could, that you could click on. Yeah, I'm sure if you uh, Google search uh, She-Hulk nude, you're going to find some good stuff. That's that's my ideal body type is a female, not a female uh, bodybuilder, but a female CrossFitter. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. to get that that lean female CrossFit bod because they're right. they're jacked. Don't get it twisted. They're no, we're ripped. Not, we're not. No, no, they're not ripped. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah. And that's that's but not as ripped as like the guys get too too big, too bulky. I'm trying to get that lean CrossFit bod. Do you want my... that uh that Annie Thor's daughter bod? Annie that, Thor's uh, daughter. Yeah, I'm talking about CrossFit women, they're like the champions. Oh yeah. Oh, there we mm -hmm. go. You want that that Tia Claire Toomey bod? I'm 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 trying to get that uh that straight out of Sweden. Right. What's that, that blonde chick? That's just like the, ice, the Icelandic girls are running it. Women are running it. Are their names hella dope? Because as soon as you get into those Scandinavian names, they're so rock star. They're dope, except that they're like the patriarch. Uh, so like everybody's last name is like Sigmund's daughter or David's daughter. Really? Um, so when you said Thor's daughter, that's actually the name. Yeah, I think it's like a thing that they do in uh, the land of ice, baby. Wow, that is trippy. So the name, how do you spell it? Is it like two words? Oh yeah, Kate, Katrin uh, David's daughter. Is that right? David's daughter. It's Catherine's David's daughter. How do you spell Thor's Catherine, daughter? Catherine Zeta Jones. David's daughter. <laughs> She's it's with daughter like a D O T T E R, I think. She dips beneath. Daughter, David's daughter. They're Jack though, dude. David's daughter. I think they just they just had the championships this week, but it was weird because there were only five people in each, uh, five men and five women instead of like the big open competition. But hey, man, is that due to Tor's daughter? Tor's daughter due to due to COVID? Coronavirus. Ah, uh, the virus. Oh yeah, it's Course. still sweeping the world, huh? Mm -hmm. Still out there. The virus is still out there. I wouldn't mind if it just swept right out of the fucking planet. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get nice. back to business. Can we get McAfee? Can we get McAfee to come handle the coronavirus or what? <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. Well, that's, that's a good fuck. discussion. If McAfee <laughs> had the cure to the virus now, or let's 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 go back a few months uh, at the the peak of devastation. If he had it and he was like, "You gotta set me free." 
And then I'll give you the cure. You want a cure for the virus? That's some super villain shit, and I... Do we do that? Yes. Yeah, it's Suicide Squad. Yeah. Yes, 100%. You let him out, and he cures the virus. And then what? And then... And then... And then, uh, he... Diarrhea. Runs for... And then he goes on and takes on Trump, man. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. That sounds better than what yeah. the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, no, a... sorry. We'd have got to put him back. We could we could be like... Uh, trick him. Yeah, we'll let you... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, trick him, then put him back. Mm-hmm. So we had our fingers crossed. What do they do with the Suicide <laughs> Squad? Yeah, what do they do? They come out and they handle shit, and then what happens with them? Uh, well, then I think they got to try to put him put them back because they get a little little unruly or something i don't know that that movie was pretty bad like what's i i don't even i couldn't follow that first flick dude the first hour i was like are we still setting things up here i'm out could not follow yeah. that first movie at all and i tried and i wanted to and it looked very cool but it was just garbage storytelling from my opinion Ew. allegedly i'm sorry guys I, i'm looking at photos of uh crossfit she, women she uh, yeah but uh, what, movie are back. We, what movie are we talking about? Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, huh? Yeah, we were saying if you, know, you hear the whole if McAfee could come out, you know, and cure the virus, uh, would you let him? I, I, yeah, that's yeah. right around the time that I zoned out and, and got deep into CrossFit <laughs> right. women. Uh, okay, turn the Google search off. So then we likened that, yeah, we likened that to Suicide Squad. Okay. And then the question is, what do you do with the Suicide Squad after they finish their their whole mission. Do you put them back or are they staying out? I don't know. I couldn't follow the fucking movie because the movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's where we're at. Well, I mean, I tell you. So hopefully there was a commercial right before that and we just caught you right up. I think they had a director's cut of that movie that they were like, Oh, the Snyder Cut. Finally, the Snyder Cut's going to be released. And I'm like, eh, wasn't it, no way it's better. Wasn't it yeah. David Ayers? Was it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think it was Snyder. I think it was... Yeah. Well, then who did the Snyder... Oh, that was Batman versus Superman. I think. Yeah, I think it was David Ayer. And he's a good filmmaker. Like, he's made mm -hmm. some some good flicks before. That's where I think... And I heard that the right. studio just grabbed it. And it was one of DC's first big movies. So I'm sure everybody got their paws all over it and was like, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. No, I'm going to fix it. And then it just yeah. turned into the fucking garbled mess that it is. It is yeah. crazy. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you? No, I it's didn't see it. <laughs> I, I saw it in the it. theater and I was very, very sad that it was so bad. And then like You don't have to be sad, it's okay. Because it's just it's just unfortunate that, that movies make it to the theater and they are that bad with all the checks and balances and people weighing in. It means that people are just There's... quiet collecting a paycheck and then they move on. It's just fucking sad. And it made bank. There's too many yeah. cooks in the kitchen, man. They they need to let the auteur, auteur. Thank Just you. Just let them auteur. That's not safe anymore for the corporations that are taking over. And I don't care, guys. I don't care. You can hit the mute button on <laughs> I'm pissed now. Yeah, but now. <laughs> and that's just how I feel about it. Here's the question now, though. When you get into a new world where it's like, we don't have movie theaters open right now and in fact they are threatened then what is going to be the point of even making a movie like suicide squad at that caliber when it's just you just have to put it on a streamer right there's not that's there's a no. great question no there's going to be no point we're about to see the resurgence of the indie film where the auteur reigns supreme so well, it's going to be it? it's it, we're <laughs> about to see like a really cool changing of the guard in hollywood Oh, that could be cool. Yeah, but you're, you're missing the fact that people are going to go, oh, cool, there's like this sick little story movie on about an auteur. I'm going to go play a fucking video game for 30 hours instead. Ooh. And no mm -hmm. one's going to be watching those yep. little... Well, video games have always like kind of... No, but but now they're not going to be... Battled Hollywood. They're, they are, they're the most grossing. They gross more than any flick in the theaters. Yeah, they're like... gross. But what I'm saying is that... Um, <laughs> they will no longer be competing with like the, the grand spectacle of Suicide Squad's big movies like that, 007. Now that you're saying they're going to dial back to these like little movies, right? those aren't going to be able to compete with the spectacle of fucking Oculus, Oculus movie. No, they will though, because it still costs so much to make one of those big mo uh, video games and it doesn't cost as much to make a small flick. But they make it back. They make it back hella easy. They still make it back. Yeah, so the blockbuster is being moved into like 
exclusively into the video Fuck game. Fuck it, dude. Write a video right. game. Write a Here fucking video game. I well, mean, I'm, I'm more interested in the rebirth of the indie than the video speaking game. Speaking of what? rebirth, but, uh, but a video game. What are we game, on here? I, I looked up, uh, and I'm late to the game because uh, it took me a long time to learn how to, to share the screen. But yeah, look at the makes... look at these CrossFit women. Don't sure. you want your body to look? I mean, Blake already kind of looks like a hot CrossFit yeah. babe. Is that what it is, Adam? Is that like they look how you want to look? Yeah. So you're they like. Look, I, I'm not saying I'm trying to fuck these women. I'm saying I want my body to no look like these. Wait, you're saying women. we want to be these women? I want oh, to that be one right these... there, Lauren Fisher. So I'll, she's she's I'll famous. Unpack that. I think she's they're all kind of famous. Like this, I'd take that lean ass uh, Danielle Seidel. Mm. Well, it's really just their abdominals. Is that what you're you're drawn no, to? No, dude, the right? quads are out of hand. Okay. Brooke yeah, but I'm I'm trying to be I'm trying to be a a, a CrossFit chick. That's that's I, what I want. If Adam, you start rocking, uh, yeah, yeah, start rocking like a sports bra and just hitting the beach, <laughs> dude. That's people will be like, cool "Where look. do you work out?" You're like, "Huh?" I've never seen a homie rock a sports bra, and it probably looks cool <laughs> as fuck. Like the I cutoff T game one. is sick. Remember yeah, when, like, I could see. Oh, I dude. see. No matter what I do, and I work out really hard. But and no matter what I do, I still have a little belly fat. I work out every day, and I can't. I can't have the the body of a Sarah. S Sigmund's daughter. 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 Dude, I saw, I was driving around uh, and watching them do some brush clearing the other day because we got fires all around here. And there was this one dude, nice they dude. all wear yellow shirts when they're working for the city or whatever. And there was this one old dude, had to be like 65, kind of big belly, but he was rocking the crop top. He had nice. cut his shirt right below the pecs and was just letting it fly but then he had also added suspenders to the mix okay. so he was rocking a crop top with suspenders while cleaning up uh -huh. brush on the side of the road and it was the coolest look was he was this a prison program was this if, a prison program yeah was he trying no. to it might have been you know what it might have no. been this was a crazy guy <laughs> it was over by san it, it was over by san quentin so i mean very much it, it could have been Damn. was he Oh, okay. So yeah. So he was a. a but I'm just saying the look. Wait, no. Of the crop top with yeah. suspenders was so good. Yeah, something you're gonna go after. Was it uh, part of the Liddy committee? Liddy. <laughs> the Liddy committee. <laughs> Truly, I thought it looked good. I don't think you're allowed to rock suspenders if you're like a prisoner on work release or whatever. Are you rocking suspenders. Is so that, then this dude was just like a sick dude that was out there like getting yeah. his paycheck. If you ask, was he getting a paycheck or was he just out there taking care of the community? There was other Maybe. people with the same color shirts on. So unless he was like, oh, I got a shirt. Can uh, I come help? And he cut it to be mm. like different. Mm -hmm, one of yes. those. Mm. Yeah, I'm standing out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sounds like Real he was wearing. Whore. Uh -huh. yeah, he had like He's a, probably a, there to pick up uh, freaking nature babes. That's what he was there for. Ooh, showing this a little guy. belly. Showing a little belly. Or some hot nature dudes. Did you crash, Kyle, driving by? No, I had the Tesla was driving itself, so I was all good. But like. Ooh, flex. Oh, Ooh. thank God. Flex yeah. on them. Flex on them. Flex. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Let them know <laughs> the Tesla's driving itself. That's you know it. Double, double click. Dun, dun. Uh, I think I told you guys, this is my, my pitch to Tesla when I went and, and drove one like just to see what it was all about i go hey uh you know what they should call this is a a test drive yeah and Damn, the guy was like dude. yeah i don't think so i'm like i think I'd, I'd run that one up the flagpole <laughs> and he was like i don't like it and i'm like you're fucking out of your mind did you let him know <laughs> oh, you're a big time good Hollywood writer? for you and i said i get paid buku dollars yeah. to come up with stuff like this Damn, and he and he still didn't run that up the flagpole. Well, he actually said, "No, you don't." And I was like, "Oh, I get paid though. <laughs> <laughs> I do get paid I, though. Sometimes yeah, I have. Sometimes an income. I have been paid. Mm -hmm. When I got my Tesla, they set it all up, and it was like they put it all under the the banner of Free Carl. It was very nice of them. There were wow. some young kids that wow. were fans of the show, and they were like, "Thank you, Free Carl." And, and it was here's like, your car. <laughs> it felt nice you know it felt good i was That's so iconic. stoked i so, wish i still i feel like i i had to retire my free carl shirt but dang 
It'd be nice. Do do they still sell them on the internet? I bet you could find that shit on Grailed. I yeah. I started wearing mine after like just a year ago because I figured now I can. I don't. I didn't think I could do it back in the day, but now I'm like, I think it's kind of dope if I wear it. Yeah, didn't I tell uh, you guys sure. I was at the grocery store? I was, I was, is that dope or, or wrong? Just, be, I mean, what do you guys think? No, that's cool. I think it's dope. No, that, I think that's dope, Kyle. Yeah, yeah it's your claim to dope. fame. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I was at the grocery store rocking it one time, and this woman uh, came up to me, and she was like, who is that on your shirt? And I was like, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's a friend of mine. She's like, what happened? Is he going to be okay? <laughs> and I was like, I didn't have the heart to be like, uh, it's from a TV show, lady, you're an idiot. <laughs> And well, you know what I mean? Like I didn't want to make hurt. her feel like a fool. So then I go, oh no, he, yeah, he, he, it's, he'll, he'll be okay. And she's like, well, what's the story? I go, I don't, it's not even, I go, it's, it's no big deal. And she goes, well, excuse me for trying to help. <laughs> oh. And I was like, fuck. I tried to be, you know, like not be like lady at the t-shirt from a TV show. Yeah. She you, had a big heart. We should get like a, uh, what do they call it when you like are trying to get uh, money for a project? Uh, a GoFundMe? Uh, yeah, we should get Kickstarter? A, we should get a, a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe for to free Carl and <laughs> just see how much like money, like dumb money we can get and then throw a uh, a Kyle release or a Carl <laughs> release party. Mm -hmm. uh, and have a, a fucking carnival or something, you know? <laughs> Bro, I love it when you spitball. I don't see anything going on with that. I feel like... <laughs> eh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know, I with the prison it. system right now, I think that's a great call. Just I, hey, Pretenders, <laughs> thank you. And I yes, totally agree. I love it when... I love it when Adam just like stream of consciousness like gets these great ideas. Uh, <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. And they just come to me. Should we should we do this? Like would be crazy, <laughs> right? We just ask for money for nothing. <laughs> like, that'd be awesome. Yeah. And, and, then, then we'll, and then drink the money away. Yeah, well well we'll obviously a bit be an open bar, but right. then we'll have like a dope party for, the for Hollywood Carl elite. to to come out of prison. Prison and we'll prison get like quotes. a we'll get a a, a blow up prison for mm -hmm. Kyle to like be stuck in and then like a bounce house. Yeah, uh-huh, exactly. Now you're <laughs> yeah, thinking man. and then that we get him it. and then we're like and and we'll like dress up like Eric Griffin as like a judge or something <laughs> and he'll like bang a gavel and he's like I he, do declare I now sentence you to Dude. take a beer bomb. Yeah, yeah. This is when <laughs> this is when we all find out that Adam has fallen on some real hard times. <laughs> and he's, yeah. I'm trying to embezzle like, money from the free car basically the dark this crazy thing guys i'm having trouble paying my mortgage it's it's the dark carnival of the souls but for workaholics fans adam let's mcafee do it. let's do it you know uh you know what i was thinking about but speaking of prison because i was watching uh a youtube video of this old video of a uh, bb king like playing a show at a prison for like right. the prisoners and stuff. Yeah. Do we still do that? Does that still happen? Are there prison comics do right, Adam? A lot of comics perform in prisons, right? Yeah. Uh, I know Jeffrey Ross did a stand up special at a prison a few years ago where he, it was like a roast. He did like a roast battle, but mm -hmm. at prison and he would like roast the, um, <laughs> The warden or the whatever. Warden. I yeah. Love it. Yeah. That's yeah. Tight. And I yeah, people like lost their minds. But no, I think that happens sometimes. It has to be set up and it and it also like I know that the warden has to be okay with it. Like not every prison right. is like, Yeah, sure, come on in. He's gotta be a fan. Well yeah. there's just so many like cool like performances like wh whether it was like Johnny Cash or BB King or I'm like yeah, I remember like hearing Cheech and Chong would do it, but like it just adds such a cool layer to like a live album where you know that everyone listening and cheering is like <laughs> in prison for life. It's so strange. It is interesting because it makes you go like, "What are is is, is is I never got to go to a concert like this for free." I might add. Yeah, I'm trying to get there. Do they deserve it? But at the same time, it's like, "Yo, these dudes are fucking locked up. Let's give them something to." I know that's. Yeah, that's what I'm like people that are so angry about people in prison and think like, oh, no, like they shouldn't have like a TV in the commons room or they shouldn't have like the small bit of entertainment that they have. It's like, who right. gives a fuck? 
These Honestly. people are in, they're in cages. They're in cages. It's bad. For like 23 well, hours a day. Yeah. It did, sucks. And it's uh, like to have a little silver lining. Yeah. Did we talk about repurposing them? Like actually like going out and fighting fires and doing stuff in the community. Is that something that goes down? Anders, I'm looking at you. Uh, yeah. There are uh, prisoner firefighters. I don't know if that's the technical term, but yeah. That is the coolest. That is a great use of prisoners. It is cool, but here's what's fucked up is that they have all this experience fighting fires and then when they get out of uh, prison, they are kind of overlooked and not uh, seen as somebody who has experience fighting fires. They're just kind of ex-cons. Oh, really? Well, well, can yeah. can you not be a ex-con fireman? Is that a rule or is that... Well, that seemed... No, but I think they're just like, uh, we're going to go with the guy who's not an ex-con. Well, yeah. that's like where we got to bring back volunteer firefighters and just, you know, I get them on still, that. They still have those. Yeah. Yeah. They're around. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. don't come on. Yeah. I'd like to do this. I would like to become a volunteer firefighter. Oh, then uh, let me just revise something. I think Kyle's going to die first <laughs> uh, in that first fire he fights. I'm going in. No, don't, you don't have to yet. You don't no. have to yet. No, they guys. Don't have to. no, I'm in. I'm already in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you guys, I got this. We definitely don't have to run in. We're just going to hose it down from the outside. I'm going in. There's nothing in there to save. Yeah, no, My long hair, my hair caught on fire. There's a Here's raccoon in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to save a raccoon. I've, I've got to save the, the rabbits. Yeah, I don't know. Uh well, I don't know, if I you just were in like, prison, oh. where, what, what, uh, what, where do you think you would work? Because oh, don't man. you, you all, everybody has to have like a little job. Like you're, you're in the laundry. You fold, uh, you like sew oh, buttons little, onto pants. You make little, license plates. Right. Oh, that's a you great know. question. Escape from Danamora, little thing. Where, what were they doing? Yeah. Making he made like little little pants for. Yeah, you you like girl. sew yeah. zippers onto pants and shit. And yeah, then you, you make little pants. You make little pants. You bang. Uh, well, no, remember? He didn't. Cat? Yes, I just like how you describe it. You make little pants. <laughs> it was a specific to Danamora. Yeah. Es Escape yeah. from Danamora, if you haven't seen it, it's on Showtime, right? Yep. Yeah, so. Showtime. Ben Stiller directed it, Benicio del Toro, and Paul Dano, and it's fucking awesome. It's such. Patricia mm. Arquette. Is it the best thing that came out in the last two years or so? It's so fucking good. I think so. I think so. It was one of the best I, shows that I've seen. I, I I watched it back. I watched it twice. It was fucking incredible. Yeah. That's cool. I could mm -hmm. probably watch it twice. It was it's captivating so the first time. I was like just in it the whole time. And it's it's all about, it's all set in this prison, Danamora, and uh, Benicio and Paul Dano's characters uh, escape. Spoiler, uh, it's the title of the show. And... Uh, it, it's just so well done. It's so well told. Ben Stiller did a fucking awesome job uh, with it. The performances. And based on a real story. Yeah. Based yeah. on yeah. real people. Super yeah, they, captivating. I thought the performances are just unreal. Like, like best performances I've seen. Do you think you would escape no. uh, from, from a prison? Do you think Me? you would have that, uh, that in I you? Would, or do you think you would sure. just... Yeah, I would definitely try. I don't know if I would make it, but I would definitely try. I don't know. It. I guess it depends. Yeah, I love it. Kyle's like uh, Cool Hand Luke. He's like, uh, at least I tried, though. At least I tried. I don't know. I might just sell my asshole. Yeah. And stay there? <laughs> okay. There's no fucking way. Yeah, just be like, really? Just be the... the, huh, the that was a quick turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do I do in jail? Sell my asshole? Oh, okay. I don't I, know. That's a lot it... of work. You got to stay up every night. You're getting no sleep. You had to stay up True. every night to be <laughs> digging the tunnel when you could just like, uh, you know, sell your asshole and then yeah. get all the cigarettes and you get little candy. You like, they'll give you Tic Tacs. You get, yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. I like how you think you're going to sell your asshole. They're taking your asshole. No, I'm, yeah. no, I'm not. They're no, not taking winning. it. I'm giving and they're it. They're going to keep they're their gonna go, they're like, in your asshole. They're they're gonna gonna be like, <laughs> your asshole's their cigarette holder. They're yeah, going to be, dude. yeah, they're going to go, give me your fucking asshole. I'm like, yeah, you don't have to take it. It's right here for your, for your taking. And they're going to be like, well, okay, all right. I don't know huh. if I want it, if you're going to give it up I, that hard. And I'm like, yeah, well, you, whoever has the most cigarettes for me to uh, smoke, <laughs> that gets my right. sweet, There's, puckery I, butthole. I like your reverse psychology. <laughs> it's like a cool who wants to be a millionaire like game show. <laughs> Who's going to win my butthole tonight? Yeah, I'm running a game show out of that. Yeah. <laughs> 
out of the prison. Out of my butthole. Okay. Yeah, spoiler, for- spoiler alert, Adam. <laughs> they're all going to fuck your asshole. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm like, for everybody five wins. It. Uh, I get it for first. Five everybody. <laughs> Durs, I think if you and I, if you and I were cellmates, I think yeah. we could hatch a plan to escape. I think we could figure it out. Dude, I would make the sickest paper mache us yes. to leave under the covers while yes, we fucking would. crept out. Yeah, dude. I would definitely go to the library and find a way to talk to the warden and talk about the building and the architecture and get the schematics of mm, the place. Right. I would work Smart. that shit. But why why do you want to escape when next week Ariana Grande is performing? <laughs> yeah, Come on. True. We got a free show next week. I see I'd and be a promoter. That would be my job. Uh that's that's why we're escaping. Hey, you know what, Blake? That would be my job. I'd be concert <laughs> promoter. That's how we're escaping, actually, because when everybody's over here looking at Ariana Grande, mm-hmm. whoop, we're out our motherfucking tunnel that we've been mm-hmm. working on for a couple weeks. And you know what? When you guys when you guys need to relax and take some time off, you can fuck my asshole <laughs> man last night we dug a hole we dug so much deep hole i Our- need a little bit more deep hole yeah kyle's like durs what happened you were supposed to dig last night he's like i don't know adam let me fuck him for three cigarettes yeah. <laughs> i couldn't resist and it's i'm over here like night. god yeah, is a woman <laughs> Damn, our prison rocks, dude. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Well, our, we got a pretty dope prison. Dude, I would <clears throat> I would be drawing hella drawings. That's what I would be doing. I would be yeah, you would. giving art away to mm-hmm. avoid uh penetration. Yeah, so it's like, hey Durs, can you draw my can you write my name real quick? Like right. cool. I would just draw like <laughs> graffiti of names or like pictures of people's children. God say, hey man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here. I feel like I would I would end up getting so many just dollops of free potatoes that people would want to like free Yo. mashed potatoes that people are like <laughs> you're getting dollops yeah because you're you're <laughs> your no, butt people, is a is bro, a bowl people are gonna want to stop fucking my asshole because it's because my ass is gonna be too big they're like ah oh, you know what you, no your this, approach this, to this whole question is just great man your whole approach no it's never too big there's always another dude in jail who's like actually i could fit that pretty well no, they're just going to be putting a straw in your butt and right. slurping the potatoes out. <laughs> or washing the cat. Okay. They're just going to wash the cat. Oh, man. They're like, I, th- I think I've seen this on Sublime Directory. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this video before. The potato oh, ass. This bro got that She-Hulk booty. <laughs> Yeesh. Yeesh. Do you know She-Hulk over in uh, Cell Block 7? <laughs> your name That's is your She-Hulk. Name. He's She-Hulk. built like a CrossFit girl. <laughs> wow. That I mean, that's the, that's the huge thing. You work out so hard to get the body of a CrossFit girl. <laughs> then you do some, some McAfee <laughs> city takeover scam. You're put in prison, and everyone's like, she looks like a thick-ass girl. I'm going to hit that. Man, this is Suicide Squad too. We just yeah. wrote a better movie. My gosh. We, fig- we figured it out. We got, our, we got our next movie. Suicide butt one. I'm into it. Uh, Stain. Dang. Let's do the porno parody. Not escaping from Danamora. <laughs> yes. Stain. Yes. Yeah, st- staying in. <laughs> <laughs> Making Danamora a home. Yeah. Can't Stain escape. And can't escape. Don't want to escape Danamora. Don't really want to. <laughs> Hunkering down at Danamora. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Yes. Oh man, I hope none of us ever go to prison for real. You know, like that would be. Oh gosh, it's terrifying. It would be bad. I think. I think we're past our going to prison days. I feel. I don't know. <laughs> you know Bill Cosby, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Comedy man. legend, I mean, shit. fucking crazy yeah. rapist. Well, I don't think any of us are are drugging women. Uh, yeah, well, nobody's been doing dirty. Yeah, well, and fucking them. So I think we're we're good. And as far as that, I think we would have like the twenties would have been the time that we would have drunk, drove somewhere, and fucking c- crashed crashed yes. into somebody. The Roaring Twenties. Yeah, the 1920s. <laughs> yeah, you see? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sober, officer. ABC, <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah. Don't you know it's prohibition? I'm taking you to the slammer. I run this town. <laughs> yeah. Take them downtown. Get in the paddy wagon. You're coming down to the yeah. slammer, well, can boy. We make a... The wild days are over. Yeah, yeah. they are. Can we make a a bond together right now that if one of us goes to prison, we all go to the same prison? No. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, to visit? To like say hi? Sure. 
promise. No, man. We could be cellmates. Are you are you suggesting that our friendship is the strongest thing on earth so that basically if one of us goes to prison, all of us go to prison? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I and I believe that the mm. court of law will uphold that. It's like There's no way a, I'm signing. You get that. one of us, you get all of us. No, man. We'll I'll come visit Comey you. Says. I'll put some fucking I'll put a file in the cake if you need it. I'll be <laughs> Then you will go to prison with him. <laughs> yeah, you might be going to prison. Well, that's a, I. But I got to do something wrong. I ain't going to fucking prison for your wrongs, bro. I just, you just said you're gonna file in his cake. No, no, I know. But then I'm like, I'm making the choice. <laughs> I'm like, I'm okay with that. I'm just not gonna sign okay. a document that says if Blake goes to prison, we're all going to prison. So you don't want a soul link with me. Let's no. say if no. if I go to prison, unbelievable, and I come out of prison, will you guys be there waiting for me? Uh, to to take We're, me yeah. immediately to the hosp hospital <laughs> with an Omaha steak <laughs> because my asshole's uh, concaved. Where, Absolutely. Yeah. Where's the prison? Let's just say it's uh, Oregon. No. Oregon. No, you're not going to come. G g get me out of prison, Kyle. Beautiful, beautiful country <laughs> up there. Mm, no. Oh man. Why not? Why not? Would you guys? Well, what time of year is it? It's uh, you know it's uh, this time. It's October. Getting yeah. cold. It's getting Beautiful. cold. It's like thirty degrees up there. It's almost freezing. I don't do that well. In f well, you know what? At this time, we we probably have one of the biggest podcasts in the world, mm -hmm. and <laughs> you guys bring you guys bring a whole audio setup to to start the the podcast back up again. As soon as I get out of prison, I get mm -hmm. out of prison. I go into the van. We fire up the next pod. Oh, oh. Here, how about this? How Hot. about this? That's a. Po I'm tuning in. If. Are, are you allowed to do a podcast from jail? You well, I th you can rap from jail. Yeah, I think that you oh. also can have an Instagram in jail. Yeah, I think it no, depends where you're in prison. And I feel if one of us is going to prison, it's probably overseas off off of some dumb shit. Okay, something called ear hustle. They're saying yeah. Anna just said ear hustle uh, is recorded in jails, and that sounds yeah. So you'd be able to awesome. be recording and giving us live updates. Is that a podcast? So here's my question. If one of us went to prison, if one of us went to prison, but we were still able to record this podcast, do you get paid or do you have to like defer? Mm. Well, hey, so I take it back. I don't have to sell my asshole because I'm going to have all the cigarette money I can handle. Yeah, I do think there are ways. You're still going to get fucked in the butt. Yeah. Been, it's, you look like a CrossFit <laughs> woman. It's, it's, yeah. it's just insatiable. <laughs> yeah, they've all the prisoners have seen Pitch Perfect. They want to fuck you, dude. If they want to hear you, please don't say. stop the music. Please stop fucking me. Are ex felons allowed to have jobs afterwards? Yeah, right. Yes, yes, but yeah. I'm saying during. So yeah, are you could you, like. Are you allowed to make income? I do believe you do make income. Yeah, while you you're could in make, prison. Depending on probably the prison, I'm sure you could make money while you're in prison. What about oh, people who are like, you know, those white collar, like Epstein, who was like, I'm in prison, but I'm leaving six and a half days a week, and I'm there just that night or whatever. He was making money the whole time he was in prison. Yeah, that's a special case. Yeah, I mean, what you're... Yeah, you're, yeah that's true, Kyle. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, what was... They didn't... Uh, everyone's got that scenario. Well, no, yeah. of course not. That's a, Of course, it's a special case. I'm just citing it as an example. Your favorite? <laughs> uh, excuse yeah, your me? Favorite example? Your favorite example? The first one that I could think Epstein? about, and probably the most relatable oh. example that everybody who's listening... No, right. right. uh, everybody... who, who do you rock with, Jeffrey Epstein or McAfee? <laughs> oh God, no, no way oh. this goes well. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is where you plead the fifth. Well, it has to be. Oh, uh, you gotta rock with the Mac. It has to be McAfee is probably a fun guy to fucking kick ripping with. in the Terran. Epstein seemed like a, f a fucking dweeb. He's a scuzz. Right. Yeah, McAfee yeah. seems like uh, <laughs> like a wild party boy. Way too tan. You got to hang out with the guy that's way too tan. <laughs> yes, the most hilarious stuff from all that that terrible like Mac or uh, Epstein shit is when they're like to his face telling him like his dick looks like a like a little football or something. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm I, as I've said before. Do I have to answer this? <laughs> Takes off his microphone. It's like, dude, that's yeah. your hot. Amazing. That shit was hilarious. That's, that's your like hot the, button. 
Yeah, it's, it's like, like the best hidden camera show that you n- actually know there's a camera there ever. <laughs> right. They were like, uh, is it true your your dick looks like a Nerf Vornado football? <laughs> Vornado. It, it, this dude was straight face like, yeah. come on. Like, what is are we doing? Is it true here? you have lumpy cum? <laughs> oh, lumpy. He's like, I'm going to take my microphone off. I can't handle this. Oh, but oh. you can handle every other question, man. But when you start coming after your weird shaped dick, you're out of here. You got to roast the dude. Fuck him. Yeah, you got to you yeah, got to roast, you gotta him. roast him. I yeah. think every prisoner or person who's found guilty should have to go through a roasting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. If, if at, mean, uh, what else clean up the streets? <laughs> once, <laughs> once they're found guilty, the, the jury has just been working on fucking slams. Yeah, yeah just they, ranks. Yeah. He's guilty. Yeah. Okay. Before you leave the courtroom, we found you guilty on 12 counts. We roast also, you. Your mom is oh. so fat. And like the jury's like, how fat is she? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> how snap. fat is she? This jury of your peers. That would be I feel like Jeff Ross could sell that awesome. show. <laughs> I'd watch it. Is yeah. yeah. It'd be on uh, pay-per-view style or what? Probably on his own independent YouTube channel. Celebrity. <laughs> yeah. Death row. No network. Brought to you by bail bonds and shit. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Guys, I feel like we all kind of got along this this app. It seems like we, there wasn't any truly aggressive slam. So I don't know if anybody has any take backs, apologies, or compliments. But I um, had when I didn't write it down. I would, I, well, Adam, I'd love to compliment you on your ability to adapt so quickly to prison life. It just <laughs> seems like you would thrive, bro. So mm-hmm. good for you, man. I'm proud hey. of you. Oh, thank you. Way, yeah, way to think, make the best of a situation. I also think your, I also think uh, your high booty would do very well in in a prison situation. So sure, yeah. uh, if if we're if we're going by your terms of what doing well means, yes, I think I would be <laughs> doing very well in a prison. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, for those of you at home who don't know, Blake's butt is very high. The, He's got the a crack high. Goes very high. Yeah. He's got a high booty. It sits high. It's 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 like royal. It's like a royal horse. It's like a royal horse. Blake, mm. I'd like to compliment you yeah. on your high booty as well. Thanks, I don't know man. if anybody got a compliment. If Adam already complimented you on it, I wasn't listening. But when you mentioned the comp, your butt, I liked it. <laughs> that's that's when Kyle perked up. Yeah, I perked <laughs> up and I just like to compliment your butt. And I'd also like to compliment Anders and his ingenuity because I really enjoyed imagining us breaking out of prison. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Can't wait. Yeah. I would also, I would like to compliment Durs, uh, Durs knowing about uh, all the CrossFit women, knowing which ones were famous, knowing that yeah. uh, they all have like weird, explain the weird last names where they're all named daughter. It's yeah. an Icelandic thing. Uh, when your dad's named one thing, or maybe it's, because I, I don't think any of the men have it. So I think if you're the daughter of Sigmund, your last name ends up being Sigmund's, Sigmund's daughter. daughter. Wow. Um, Weird. Yeah, I watch I watch CrossFit because it makes me feel like I've just worked out. Mm. I'm like, whew, we're tired. Yeah. Mm. We're we're mm-hmm. in we're in better shape already. Good night, guys. <laughs> Good, Good night. Flick the TV off and roll into some pudding. There we go. Oh hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, what's my take back today? I had a take back. It's probably something about Kyle. Sorry, bud. That's okay. Yeah. You can take back anything sorry about you it. said or anything sorry like that. You know? Sorry about it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, well, I'd say another great episode of This, this is, is Important.